Hello, and welcome to my newest playthrough, FE4. Yes, this is one of my favorite Fire Emblem games, and obviously since uh, Daisy's kind of my icon, we need to get to this game. So yeah, Fire Emblem 4, translated by Project Naga. Fantastic translation, because this game used to be a little bit buggy before. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it, and it's going to be a full story playthrough, because yeah, the story is really engaging here. It's going a little bit fast, I find, but um, you can't always pause or find this online somewhere. Granville is only about 100 years old. But yeah, here we are. And I'll probably have to fix these settings so this goes a little bit faster. Yeah, like we saw in that opening cutscene. Prince Kurth is a very important character, but uh, he won't really be in the gameplay at all, actually. Yeah, there's a lot this game throws at you at the beginning, like right now, and it's honestly a game that you might have to play a couple times to like, grasp what's going on, because I know I had to. Um, Lord Byron, very important, we'll meet him a little bit later. I'm sure he's not evil. He can't be evil, either. Yeah, he's busy planning for a barbecue. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to. And Claude. Not upside down Claude. So it looks like war with Isaac. And Prince Kurth has to, of course, lead on the front lines. Leaving the rest of us behind. I guess that's, Byron's kind of like his Jagan, maybe. Now that I think about it. Yeah, not too many soldiers behind. You know, so not often that you um, get to play as, like, the the backup crew. Usually, you know, you'd be on the front line, but uh, we're starting out with just the, uh, the detail crew, I guess. And then some other countries around here aren't really involved yet. Yeah, so since the military's away, well, the bandits will come and try and take whatever we have. And they're Seagird. Yeah, we're not just going to stand around and let bandits invade our homeland while the knights are away. I think this chapter was called Birth of the Holy Knight in the old translation, but we have Birth of the Crusader now. Okay, 
Okay, and there is a Dean who we just met in that opening cutscene, if you can call it that. Yeah, she's a cleric, so she really can't fight. I mean, I guess you can tell from her portrait. Yeah, there's only really, well, four of us right now. So Noish the Red Cavalier is very uh, knightly. And Alec, I think, is the more laid back one, kind of like Sane. Yeah, the village is definitely important in this game. see that guy either, that lord, but Oife will certainly be important later, too. Although he is pretty young right now and can't fight. He's a tactician. He might have been the first tactician, actually, um, in the series, now that I think about it, because Katarina didn't exist originally, and Robin, of course, wouldn't come out for years later. He's 14. Well, I'm glad Seeger doesn't take children to the battle, although there are a few characters in this game that are pretty young-looking. Yeah, he'll help us out in the castle. And Arden. It's like even the game is making a joke of Arden. I think this is a pretty good direct translation too, so yeah, they uh... No, Armonites are not going to have a good time in this game, but they don't really have a good time in any game. As far as bringing Arden with us, um, we might actually do that. Yeah, so that was a lot of introduction. That was almost like 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, Fire Emblem 4. So I was waiting for a remake to be announced, but uh, I'm not going to wait anymore. This game's already perfect as is. So, yeah, we have a pretty big map here. This is a huge map. And not much going on in this castle, but down here is where all the action is. We have a bow knight up here. I'm sure he won't be important. Um, yeah. Huge map. And it's the smallest map in the game. So get used to it. So Arden, yeah, he'll, he'll suffer. So Sigurd's here, the best character in the game, possibly. He's a steel sword. We'll get one that's better. And he has a skill pursuit that lets him double if he's faster, which he is, I think, faster than, like, everything in this map. Um, we can get a speed ring from one of the villages because they do give us bonuses, so we might give it to him just to ensure he doubles. And Sigurd also has Major Holy Blood, which is a huge plot in this game. And we'll meet other characters with bloodlines as well. Sometimes mine are blood if it's not flashing right there. And then his knights, Noish. Red Cavalier, I think he's a strong one. He has critical skill. And this skill, I'm not sure what they mean by if agile. I think it's like HP and speed more, but sometimes he could proc other rounds of attack, which can be detrimental, but well, he usually doesn't do it for me. Uh, and I don't think Noish has any holy blood, no. Interestingly enough, I think Oife does have minor boulder blood. Alec, I believe, is the fast cavalier. Yeah, his speed is 10. Yeah. Alec has the same skill as Seagird, and yeah, Alec is immune to criticals, which may help us recruit a character later on, so pretty good. And then finally, Arden. Vantage. In a pinch. If that's like anything like Pokemon when he's low on health. Uh, no blood for him either. So yeah, here's our team. Pretty fun. I'm sure we'll get some more units a little bit later. And yeah, let's just start with Seagird. And this combat menu is a little bit different. I should also fix my options. As far as like recording and breaking this down, um, I, I want to do it after every castle. 
Um, but that, there's a lot in the story, so I don't know how it's going to go. I don't want to make the episodes too long. Maybe seize Jungby, and then once we do, we're done with that, move the units off screen. Not not make you watch me moving units around the map, and then uh, finish the last part. Or I may just record this chapter all in one sitting and break it up. I don't know yet, because yeah, this is not like your typical Fire Emblem game. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab Seagard. Uh, terrain is a huge factor in this game. And we're going to hit this guy. So yeah, we kind of have to calculate it ourselves. Um, so yeah, Seagard's doing 19 damage times 2 because he has Pursuit. So he'll run around this guy. It's not like the new games where it like, has the times 2. Perfect. So Seagard's already really good. What a shocker. Yeah, Seagard is a contender for like best character of all time. Uh, Alright, and this game also has pairings, but I probably won't go over that until chapter 1 when it becomes relevant. Um, we're doing some, we're doing a off the wall pair, at least one off the wall pairing. One basic pairing, and uh, we might even do no pairing for someone. Might get a uh, substitute character, maybe. I don't know which sub it'll be yet. Three guesses to who it might be. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. And Arden, I'm actually going to try and use him. I like Arden, actually. And it, that's why I said I want to cut out me moving units across the map. Because it might be a little painful watching him move. Yeah, there's a story cutscene in between, like, turns sometimes like this. And there's the prince we met before. Not really met, but we saw him in the cutscene. Oh no, Madeir. Madeir is a guy, by the way. I know some people mess that up, but Madeir is a guy. Yeah, bandits will be bandits and attack us when our knights are away. He's right that it's easy pickings, but they didn't really count for Sigurd being left behind. It's kind of a big mistake of enemies in this game when they run into Seagard. This is kind of funny here, especially if you're someone who plays quickly. Spoiler, I don't. Enough to get the villages, but that's about it. Uh, you can He cuts down the bridge, and then as soon as you get over there, he puts it back up again. <laughs> so kind of funny. Uh, by the way, I should probably... Men I'll wait till they're done. They're done. Yeah, bandits are kind of gross. Mm, there's at least one decent person where he's taking you, so you might be in luck. Although he might not be your boyfriend this playthrough. Yeah, as far as story goes, so I'm going to try and keep the spoiler free because the story isn't as well known as Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. That one's kind of like a given nowadays. Um, there is a big major spoiler thing at the end of Chapter 5. Anyone who's played this game knows what it is. I am going to show I'll probably put a spoiler warning whenever we get there, but um, we'll discuss that later. Yeah, so this is kind of our timer right here with these villages. And these guys are pretty far away, so a lot of ground to cover, but luckily Seagard has massive movement in this game. Does he still say the infamous line here? Let's see. Nice, some help. What's the real reason we're here? Okay, so we have Lex and Azel. Uh, Lex, Hector on a horse. Fun unit. Uh, there is an interesting um, event with him in the next chapter, which I actually forgot in my first playthrough, so it was kind of crap in that playthrough, but I'll be sure to get it this time. Lex is an Axe Knight. We don't have too many of them. In fact, he's our only Axe user in this part of the game for a long time, so we'll have to get used to him. But he's a pretty good unit. He has advantage skill and Paragon, which makes him a really good pair, uh, character to... Um, pair with because he'll pass that down. Paragon's really fun to use in this game, uh, especially on characters that might not be as dominant in the front lines, which he may pair with uh, someone who might give him some unique children. Yeah. Alright, so Azel, our mage, 
So fire is very heavy, and I think while I was looking at this, it wastes him down because his speed. Um, I kind of want to try and get him maybe a Thunder or Wind Tome as soon as I'm able, but he is stuck with fire for now. He has Pursuit. Um, yeah, Azel, he, the thing about Azel is he promotes into a really good unit. He gets a horse on promotion, which, as you can probably tell, is very good in this game. But, uh, yeah, being a foot unit is a little difficult. He has minor blood and fire magic fall up. Uh, Lex, I don't think I showed him off. He has no, oh, wait, no, he has minor and air blood. Huh, thought so. Oh, yeah, you may notice everyone has different gold. These two both have 5,000, so, yeah, gold is individual in this game. There is a good reason for that. Oddly enough, some people, um, if this game were remade, some people want that to be changed and make it like how it normally is. You just have one pot of gold, we all buy our weapons and such, but it kind of adds some uniqueness to this game, the way you pass around items. Uh, that stuff I might not show on camera because it gets really tedious to um, watch like people pass that around. And I'm just going to have you... I want you to move out, but I do want you to kind of block Hazel, too. Hazel's kind of final zone. That church above that bandit there will heal us for some gold, so it's not... We are without a healer up here, but it's not like the end of the world. Alright, well, I'm just gonna move him here. I do want Lex to get moving to that village. Okay, so this guy's up here. I think I may have Arden deal with him. Uh, maybe send one of my horses back. I do like having Alabinois just ahead of the, the fray here. Although Sigurd can kind of take care of everything. I could also run Alec back too. Not sure who I want to go back. I do want Noish to get some experience. So I think Sigurd might just go ahead and kill this guy. I want Sigurd to move ahead. So yeah, as you can see, he's pretty much our delete button. Um, I'm going to put him on the grass. It gives a little bit more avoid, I think, than the road. The road gives minus 10, and the grass gives a little bit more, so grass it is. All right, Arden, I guess he can weaken this guy for noise, maybe. Let's see if uh, he's so slow. So Arden is doing... Yeah, we have to manually count this out. 14. Might need, actually, everyone here to help me out with this. Okay. Let's just get started on him. We can't always Kanto back because there's Super Kanto in this game. I will show it off whenever we attack with him. Alright, Arden. But Arden's kind of unique in that he's a sword armor. Most of the armor I tend to start with lances, so but definitely helpful with this part of the game. Yeah, I'm probably going to need Alec to help me out here, too. I could always leave this guy to get picked off. I don't think he's going to get to the castle. Uh, what's down here? What is going on? I guess we can stay near Sigurd. Sigurd does have a small leadership bonus of two stars. We'll see them later on. They get very scary. Um, I'm going to have Alec just finish off this guy and run up to the top. Because Alec's pursuit will let him to double attack these guys. I'm not too concerned about the top village right now. I kind of leave that to maybe a healer to get, just so they have some extra gold. Find it's kind of important to get healers gold in this game because they um, can't generate gold in a certain castle function. Okay, going for Seeger. That's fine, though. I do kind of want to train up Noish for something, though. Alka and Noish are kind of like Mez Cavaliers, but I, I don't mind Noish. There is a reason- I do want to pair him with someone for a very funny reason. I have really weird reasons for pairing people in this game. And yeah, I also want to pair Arden too, because Arden, uh, I don't think he said here, but in the old patch he says he wants to get a girly. Well, he's going to get one here. Okay, strength. It's kind of super important. And you're going for Lex. bandits to deal with. I could put Lex on this church, too. Yeah, we'll have guys coming our way. And that village is also a bit of danger. That one is fine, though. The bottom. And sounds like more reinforcements are coming our way.
Oh, we do have a magic user. He's just across the map. No, I don't think they're not family just because you got married. And here's why I like to call Kago's favorite character, because Finn, uh, he appears in a lot of games. Anyway, Quan is here, and I guess Quan's the closest thing we have to a Jaga in this game. Level 4 Duke Knight Major. I almost said that's Hazel, but that's Nova Blood. Uh, he has an, a talk conversation with Sigurd, and he's already paired up with Ethlyn here, so pretty cool. Let's check out her. So she's a healer, but they can fight in this game. She's a Slim Sword. Uh, love her, Quan. She can also talk to Sigurd. Let me actually go back to Quan. I didn't even go over Adept, um, and she has critical like Noish has, and I believe she has the minor blood, yeah, because she's the younger sibling. So Ethlyn and Guan are here, and then Finn, um, if you played FE5, you probably know this guy, yeah, he appears, I think he has the best appearance, yeah, of everyone in this game, he, uh, is the most playable, that'll become relevant later, and he is an FE5. Um, uh, Miracle, so a lot of people like to do this Miracle thing where they get him to 1 HP and, like, have him avoid everything. I hate doing that because I'm paranoid. Um, but yeah, let's get these guys moving. I may actually want someone to help out uh, Alec up here. Just help deal with this stupid bandit. Yeah, we do have some talk conversations to get done. Nice. Good dodge, Alec. Okay, Quan can't really get to this guy yet. Does he have a hand axe or anything? He does. Okay, well that's a bit annoying. But I can maybe have Quan come in here with a javelin. Maybe aggro him with the javelin. And then yeah, Ethlyn's our healer, so no one really took any hits. I think Lex is her on the other side of the map, but she's a little bit preoccupied over here. Um... And then Finn being a Lance Knight, yeah, he doesn't really have the um, Weapon Triangle here. I believe this is the first game of Weapon Triangle, so... I hit the wrong thing. Close that out. A little bit hard on him. I think I'm going to also have Ethlyn. Oh, that is in range. I would like Ethlyn to get next to Quan because there is something special if you have lovers next to each other or siblings. Important for Sigurd. Okay, so we have a lot of bandits incoming this way. Uh, any hand axes? You. I'll stay out of your range. I'd like Noish to actually get something in, but, um... They all might go for Sig here. I mean, not that that's a problem. He is really good. This is another game where I wish there was an all-range button. It would tremendously help in this situation. Uh, Arden. Maybe Arden can help deal with this guy, too. He's not really moving that far down front. Okay, so Lex is kind of in a bit of trouble. He... Yeah, we have a lot of guys incoming, and... I don't know if Faisal wants to fight all of them. You're doing 10 to him. You're probably also doing 10. Okay. You're doing like 9. I think I'm going to just have him stick on this church. Uh, okay. We... Lex is 24 attack. And sometimes it's a bit confusing to read because my character's in that little box. So he's doing 19 damage. This guy has 17 HP. So yeah, we can kill him. Might have Azel just like bait out the, uh... The one on the right, hopefully. I actually don't really care about, like, training Azel. As sad as that sounds. I mean, I like Azel. It's just... I might leave Azel where he is. I'll probably go for Lex, but oh well. Yeah, if I'm not planning on pairing people, I kind of don't train them. That's usually more male characters, because there are more males and females in this game. Um, yeah, everyone moved except Azel. Yeah, it's one thing you have to be pay attention to in this uh, game. 
And enemy units don't gray out, which is a big pet peeve of a lot of people, because you can't really, like, tell who's already moved and who still has to attack your units yet, so it's one of the gripes I do have with this game, and, um... Okay, I think he procced as a cost right there. Noish doesn't usually double anything. And you're going to hand axe Arden. But it's fine. Arden can distract and get some experience. Although, Arden, I'm going to give him quite a bit of experience in this map, um... A bit later on, and the hand axe guy is going to be annoying. Yeah, they're going for... Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, luckily we are on this church. Scary stuff. And yeah, of course you went for Siggy. Sig. Best boy. Okay, kind of want to get rid of that hand axe. I have a... As you can see, a pain in the butt because we don't have too many um, ranged weapons ourselves. Okay, yeah, Lex will get to you. I'm not really too concerned about that village right now. These guys might not give the not value of gold you get decreases with each like burning thing, so we'll get a little less gold. But gold isn't that tight. I find there are there are ways that uh, our combat units can generate a lot of gold, so it's not too bad here. I might give Lex Gold to pay that back, actually. Yeah, Azel can't really do anything against this guy. Well, he can hit him. I just don't want Azel to die, obviously. I could just have Lex hit and run this guy and get away, and then Azel can deal with the hand axe guy on his own, maybe on the woods. Or on the, the uh, house. We can get rid of you and run away for that village. Yeah, and Lex, as you saw, gained a huge amount of experience, so the Paragon really works. Fun skill in this game. If you ever use Astrid, it's kind of similar and pretty good level up, Lex. Good job. This game is more of a bases over growths kind of game, too, so... It's something to keep. I don't know if I want Azel to get this, but I'm gonna give him... I'm just gonna let him stand on the house here and wait. Yeah, it's not like GBA where if that guy stands here, this whole village is dead. Ah, uh, right. We need to get some other people in on this. So uh, we're a little bit overwhelmed up here. I think Noish is fine. Okay, well, who's the hand axe? I want to get rid of you. Let's have Noish kill this guy. Let me have him pull back a little bit, and then have Sigurd. Yeah, that's fine. Have Sigurd kill Handax and get his leadership here, Noish. Or not kill him, he's kinda beefy. But it's fine. More enemies for us to kill later. Little bit annoying in that. Alright, Alec can keep killing you. Okay, village safe. I think I'm gonna have Ethlyn get this. Ethlyn can fight, it's just not that well. Uh, actually, do I want him to come over here and maybe help out these guys? I might have Alec go this way for now. Um, right, this guy is still at 45. I wouldn't mind Finn actually doing something here. Yeah, and I have to remember Arden can't canto, so... I guess we'll try and get him as further along as possible. It's not really a problem for you, it's more so me when I uh, move people around off screen. I don't want Quan to kill this guy. Yeah, so Quan's doing 24. Okay. He might proc his a cost, which can get problematic. Okay, good. Nope, not for you, and I'm going to try and keep him out of the range of the hand axe. Alright, Finn, can you finish this, please? Finn is also a character I don't really like to pair up. I mean, it is hinted that he might have a... I don't want to say cannon pairing, but a... 
popular pairing with someone. Um, okay, time to... Oh yeah, and we can give gold whenever we're married. Um, probably Bear of Quan gives it to her. Just something to keep in mind if there are characters struggling to get gold. Who do you want to pair them up with? And healing. I really like the healing music in this game. But uh, F1's animation we might turn off eventually. So, everyone else has moved. I think if I look at... Uh, there might be a menu to look at this. I might check it out later. Like, everyone who's moved... Yeah. We also do have some conversations to get between Sigurd, Ethlyn, Quan, Hazel, and Lex. So Sigurd's pretty popular and he needs to talk to a lot of people. <laughs> Might do that to start in the next episode. Been a lot of dialogue this episode so far. Okay, nice. Good job, Hazel. I like Hazel as a character. I like mages, but I just don't find him to be... I mean, he's okay when he promotes. Uh, there's a mage much, much later on in the second portion of this game I like better. Arden kill? I would say that, but Arden's going to have some opportunities to kill things, so it's fine. Noish the dodge tank. Good for him. We've got a lot of dudes coming in. Okay, Lex is on your case. And we'll have to get some more dudes over there to kill you. Those bandits like to go to the south, so if they can be drawn away from the village, it might be safe for Lex up there on his own. Okay, uh, Azel can just finish this off. Might just let him get this village just for convenience. I might have Ethlyn run back too. Anyone need healing? I think Arden does, so I'm gonna have her. Yeah, I'm gonna have her heal up Arden really quick, and then run back to get that first village. I do want to show the village conversations, otherwise I'd probably do it off screen. Ah, so close. And Noish or Alec. Uh, Alec can just keep running to the front. Yeah, trees slows down. That will be apparent next chapter. We'll deal with that whenever we get to it. And just shy, bummer, but we have plenty of time still. Uh, okay, those guys are done. And we have a bunch of dudes up here. Can Quan maybe weaken this guy for Finn or someone to pick off? Alright, he's doing 16... I could just give this to Arden, I guess. I wish can maybe finish him or Finn, and Seager can get one of them. Arden's so good. This is gonna be Arden's run. Yeah, these two range guys are quite irritating at the start of the game. Okay, that should be a Finn kill. And Seagard actually kill. This guy's already weakened. What am I doing? Uh, I attacked with the wrong person. I put Finn instead of Quan. Uh, well, Quan and Seagard can just uh, kill them, I guess. Iron Axe. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit crappy damage for Quan. Uh, let's just get rid of you and you, and then he can attack if he wants to. And we'll begin our assault on the uh, castle to get back. Although our princess is in another castle, that will be relevant. Okay, well, you're getting attacked by Sigurd. Not good for you. It's always funny if a character, um, enemy that you can recruit to your lines runs up to Sigurd because that's pretty much instant death. I guess Hazel can get that build. Let's can get this one to make up the gold he spent on the church. Okay, that's fine if you want to go for Finn. Dodgy little thing, aren't we today? A lot of guys are dodging. So 
so close. If only Lex had a hand axe, maybe he will get one. And maybe a better axe, too. Okay. Um, I think we'll play one more turn of this, and then we'll call it here. Did kind of want to see that castle, but this is, this is getting lengthy. Uh, I'll visit this guy. Oh, it definitely will help out. Yeah, so kind of the game's tutorial saying, get the villages. And I can't canto up there. That's a bummer. Uh, so, poke at you. And I guess Hazel can walk back and get this one. And yeah, he explains the weapon triangle, which would be a handy piece of information at this stage in the series. Yeah. It's definitely right about that if you're doing an Iron Man. Uh, can we maybe draw this guy not for a while? I don't think I'll quite reach. Okay, so that's our northern front taken care of. Now where are you holding? Another hand axe, gross. I could aggro you in with Quan, maybe. I just, I don't think these guys want to move. They're kind of like stationary. <laughs> okay. Don't think that's quite enough to kill. He's gonna be like two off. Yep. Nice to see my math skills are working. I am going to need them in this game, so. Right. Uh, alright. I go like. Can Quan reach this area next to Seeker? Let's see. He can because he's a horse. And I think I'll give this to... I'll, I'll give it to Finn. I've heard people say they like to train Finn up as much as they can in the first part of the game, which I can agree with, but it's not like so detrimental if he like doesn't promote before a later part of the game. I have had him unpromoted there, and it's generally fine. It does make it a little bit more challenging, but it's fine. We'll just see how he goes. Because Finn and Quan Nephlin, by extension, aren't really... We don't have a whole lot of time to work with them, but we have enough. Alright, that is everyone done. So let's just take care of this enemy phase. I think we'll call it next time. I'll have to just cut a little bit of the video of me moving units. That may be a common thing in this playthrough because, yeah, there's just a lot of map, and I do like some of the foot units in this game. Okay, good. That guy's lured in. Good, good, good. Now it's a little bit safer for Alec up at the top. We're getting to you. And you. And you. Oh, you're kind of in trouble already. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna save it here, and I will see you for the next one.